everyone welcome to the channel it's uh, Rad and this video is going to be all about you Pisces uh, Sun Moon and also uh, rising and your month of November 2022 uh, now if you do enjoy uh, the channel the content in it um, make sure you do subscribe and hit the notification bell that way you do support us and as well you are staying up to uh, date with the videos and as well um, the live streams uh, if you do wish to have a personal reading with me you can always go to my website uh, which link you are gonna find in the in the description down below so let me finish here the shuffle and uh, see what you guys are gonna have for the month of November so uh, the first one, uh, that's going to be the Page of Pentacles. Moving on next, uh, we do have the Six of Cups. Followed by the Fool. And the final one, final primary card, that's going to be um, the Eight of Pentacles. So just as a note this is just an overview okay um more in depth when i do start drawing the additional cards to this but it does look like that from the start of the month moving forward you are gonna really enjoy having something to do with one person and that's gonna be this page of pentacles that could be someone you are just to befriend at the start of the month of November or maybe someone that you already know but you are gonna like it so much in fact that at the middle of the month or after the middle of the month um there will be some kind of a, a you know new experience in between you two there will be something that you haven't considered before that is gonna take place like for example uh, could be a friend that you never considered doing business with and suddenly after the middle of uh, November that is actually happening or maybe you are gonna fall in love together and relationship is actually gonna start happening well the middle of the month it is just planning for it but very very soon after those plans are created towards the end of the month of November those plans are gonna be initiated here with the eight of pentacles so let's check on that for on that person first i got a little bit excited here on that person first uh, which is uh, the uh, page of pentacles with the catalyst of the two of pentacles all right so i don't know how often someone can have such a person around them but this one it's um, basically structured their life around you uh, that is for a lack of a better word you may not know it but it does look like that whenever um, you do have a certain setup i don't know how to explain it here it does look like that they always fit into that setup okay you now listen to for example uh, a heavy metal music it turns out that they're listening to heavy metal music now you start liking drama movies it does look like that they also like a drama movie so it's someone who changes their interests their their concepts um you know their, their their plans as well according to you i mean that person is really devoted to you guys and in some in most of the cases actually pisces uh they will they consider your happiness your life and your success more important than, than theirs you know th this is almost like um like uh, a parent because i think that parents should be like that sadly not every parent is like that but that's like a that's like a parental or parental parental um attitude uh, now at that stage I think that you are just friends or mostly friends that is with uh, that individual page of pentacles but for them you are only you under I mean both of you are only scratching the surface on what you can be 
in the future. And I don't know how exactly that could be shown through the Lenormand cards, which I'm not going to use here into those videos. I don't know exactly how, but they're going to start making you feeling better and better being around them. And before you know it, uh, you're going to seek their company or rather like you're going to take advantage, it's not even taking advantage, but use, so to speak, their company because it's not even seeking. I mean, you only have to call them and they, yep, I mean, yep, they, they are they, they are coming around. So uh, you're going to start spending, let's say, more and more time with them. And uh, that is going to be the moment where you're going to start seeing as well that probably your understanding or rather like your concept of being just a friend it's a little bit outdated not entirely but it's going to start settling down that that perspective for you and um, after that happens towards the middle of the month from the start towards the middle of the month we do have the six of cups which is going to be catalyzed with the ten of uh, with the ten of wands that's beautiful guys it's beautiful because that points of uh, these two cards points that this first half of the month is going to be a process where uh, you know expectations boundaries um rules even they are simply going to start dropping off and you both are going to kind of like give each other to the pleasure of just spending time together even being together if things does escalate to uh to pretty much that point but regardless how you saw that person beforehand or how you saw them when you befriended them at the start of the month towards the middle of the month uh no matter what you are going to have that emotional and physical connection with them in other words you are going to find yourself liking them physically and feeling the thrill uh, when you are around them now as this is a general reading i do believe that we're talking about a friendship evolving but as this is a general reading should that be a business partner of yours um, those two cards are speaking that the cooperation in between you two because of their agility and uh, agility in the sense of changing and adaptation is going to make your uh, is going to make the, 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 the performance into your work and into your business extremely easy. It is just it, it will feel like well, it will feel like from a side, not to you, but from a side, it will feel like that that person is doing the whole work. OK. Uh, only you are going to know that that's not the case, but just because they kind of like take on and, and and sort out the uh, the aspects of the job that you find it very difficult for yourself and you do that for them, that they're finding very difficult for themselves. So basically the the um, spreading of of the responsibility is going to be extremely spot on that's that's why the job is going to feel very very easy but like i said uh, to me if that's if that was a personal reading that would have been all about um, you know friendship evolving into relationship and towards the middle of the month there will be no boundaries anymore and you clearly are going to see now how compatible you actually are and how happy you can be because the six of cups is all is all about that you know not concerning yourself with you know these um stereotypes for uh perfect so to speak um relationship or a family or even a friendship but more like concerning yourself with what this current one can give you and you are gonna freaking love what this current one can actually give you and right after the middle of the month uh, the um the full card manifests for you pisces which is going to be catalyzed with uh, the three of cups now it's it's a pleasant and unpleasant circumstances that we do have here now it is pleasant because these two cards as they stand they give a lot of versatility a lot of variety literally the interaction in between you and that individual after you know you you see each other in a true light can go whichever way and whichever way is going to be very very positive no one is going to hold grudge to the other one if for example at the middle of the month that person divulges their feelings for you and you say no 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 i think that we should stay just only friends 
no animosity, no grievances, no bad feelings. You just stay friends and that will be that. If you decide to be in a relationship, that's great. There will be no hard feelings as well. Whatever you decide goes, that's pretty much the positivity of these two cards. Now, the negativity, uh, or rather like the unpleasant side, is that not everyone is going to support you. In fact, there are going to be people who will think that you are doing the wrong thing, okay? And that is not going to be out of grudge or anything like that. That will be because these people probably think that you do deserve better. But hey, you are the only one who can say what is that better. You know, no different than, for example, uh, parents who think that their child deserves, you know, my grandmother is like that, um, uh, to marry someone rich with a position in the society but alas you happen to fall in love with a person from the middle class that has to work you know um, from nine to five and so on and so forth and your family is not exactly happy for that that is just an example all right but that's literally the unpleasant, uh, the unpleasant side of, uh, of those couple of cards. Now, uh, another thing I need to warn you here, whatever you are to establish with the Page of Pentacles at the middle of the month, business partnership, uh, most likely, you know, relationship, uh, intimate one, emotional one, uh, it could be also a friendship. Uh, because things are inside of, of that interactions are going almost with, with no predicaments, almost with, with, with no problems, with no troubles, you may find yourself prone to expect a very, very fast results after the establishment, which are not going to come uh, for you guys. Um, the name of the game after the middle of the month it is to roll with whatever comes having plans from previous stage it's gonna be um it's gonna be a a mistake because after the middle of the month are the circumstances that are to happen which you have to base your plans at okay so after the middle of the month, you got to be open for anything new and to roll with it. And that new are going to uh, are going to be circumstances that you are going to see that you can forge a very, very strong plan based on them. And that plan we can see being forged by the end of the month with uh, with how can I put it into words? Uh, with a uh, meticulous subtlety, if that's even if that's even an impression. In my, my point is is that you are gonna leave no aspect of it unattended here with uh, the Eight of Pentacles. The catalyst is the Knight of Swords, so we do have uh, those uh, those two cards. And um, I don't know if uh, if that is you, okay. But it does look like those two cards are speaking for even a self-sacrifice. So hear me out. Having the uh, Knight of Swords into your reading, depending on where it falls, it speaks that for that um, for that position or for that aspect. You are to make your choices by consulting your your uh, logic with your emotions, meaning that you're always going to be in a favor of doing what makes sense and what you want simultaneously. Now here you're not going to do that. This is a uh, enemy to the knights to the uh, eight of pentacles. Instead, what you are going to do it is if you have to go over yourself, you're going to do it so the enterprise can work out. And that is the ultimate condition, uh, in my opinion, into a uh, one relationship to uh, whether it is a business relationship or a friendship relationship. Uh, it's the sacrifice because uh, it looks like a sacrifice from a side to you. It may not feel like it because if you if you are doing it for the greater good in a sense of that for the greater results, uh, you are going to be completely, completely okay with it. The difference in between sacrifice and losses, it is that sacrifice, guys, is a choice you make. The loss is a choice made for you. Here, you're not going to suffer any losses. At the end of the month, the time will come when you're going to be completely prepared 
for the plan to uh, to unfold and to initiate that could be a plan for you to marry that person it could be a plan to start living together if that's a romantic interaction it could be a plan to initiate a business uh, endeavor you know it could be a plan about for everything and this plan is about to initiate and even though that plan may not be entirely the way you want it to be you're going to be completely okay with it because you're going to know that it's going to work out and it is going to work out uh, from the end of the month moving forward and so pisces uh, that was uh that was your reading guys hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, i hope you do have a fantastic month of november because it's gonna be like this and uh, we are gonna see each other next time until then bye